I want to welcome everybody. You're here with Garden Gnomes, etc. One of the cool things that we have here is uh, rain chain cups, rain chain links and stuff. One of the things that uh, a lot of people use them for, and they're really creative, is using them for downspouts for their gutters. It replaces the ugly downspouts with the lovely cups, and the, I call them garden copper art. But anyways, I use them here as a uh, water fountain, waterfalls. And this one here, I think I have about eight different cups and three different link styles. And what makes these cool is this is an alternative for a lot of people who want to get into rain chains but haven't decided to go with hanging them off their gutters. This here is a, um, a, a simple way. You don't have to use the background of a universal rock like we have here, which kind of sets the whole thing in, in motion. But here um, we have just a, a hanger coming off the side of the house. Uh, and you don't have to do this. Actually, this is off of the mounting of our, our universal rock into a decorative base, which is makes sense for a lot of people. A decorative base can be just about anything you want to hold enough water and then you can hide the pump and bring the hose up and continue. This here is at night where we can show you. It's actually the dawn hours. Everything I have here is with a photo cell and a timer because I want to see these things in the morning. I want to see them during the day and the night. And this is pretty cool. We have uh, an egg light that's actually stuck in the top of the cup and you can see the water probably about three cups down. And then we have another LED light, light changing light um, at the bottom where it takes care of the bottom part. And everything illuminates off the rock behind and also the rain chain. We're going to come across, because we do have four of these throughout the garden here. Sorry about the rocky uh, walk. But here's another one featuring three more of the cups. We have it on re-rod, I call that garden art uh, it's a good way to uh, hold up your rain chains I don't like the putting them off of any trees because when you get into the, the wind and stuff you're going to destroy your rain chains so everything I have is is put up to where it's substantial uh, where it's not going to come flying down in a rain but here again we have three different cups uh, we have the dragonfly the butterfly and uh, I think it's the hummingbird. But anyways, you can see the get up here. Uh, very easy to put in. I'm using one of the universal rocks. The pond, spectacular, is the water basin to collect the water. And it just goes up. I have it kind of hidden on one of the re-rods, but actually this is set up for a, a wisteria vine to come up and kind of fill in a little bit. Again, we have a red egg light shooting down, lighting up a good portion of the rain chains at night. Also, the darker it gets, of course, the more the light. We're going to hurry up because we're just seconds away from this whole get up from uh, turning off. Because like I said, everything's on a photo cell. Here again, here's another. This is uh, real cool. This is the basket type with the grape leaves and stuff. Again, we have the rain, uh, the egg light shooting down, uh, trying to hit at least a, a quarter of it. And then on the bottom, we have um, a couple of these light emitting diodes. There's probably close to 200 different uh, LED lights here shooting across, hitting the rain chain. Like I said, if I'm going to have a, something cool like this, I want to have it lit up. And uh, so there's a lot to be said about fog. A lot of times the fog goes right up through the cups. Uh, this here we use uh, along with our Universal Rocks. It is a liner kit, so I figured, heck, you know what, we want to show you different ways. And again, there we just lost our lighting. The photo cell kicked off. We have another patio pond. Uh, unit this one here is on another photo cell and it's a little darker back here so I know we're gonna have some light again this is beautiful this is our double lotus you can see where it's uh, connected at the top 
we made a, an arbor. Uh, again, we have an egg light shooting down. You can see the light, it comes right on down through. And at the bottom here, we have a fogger. And a lot of times it's very common to see the fog go right up through each of the cups. Uh, just depends on what uh, the wind and the atmosphere and stuff, the heaviness of the air. We have another, I think that's a 72 LED light coming through the fern, hits through. So you get the idea, the more lighting, the more combination. And uh, this here is on our patio uh, pond with a waterfall made by Universal. And I'm trying to get you the different air ways that you can uh, put these different types of rain chain fountains. I like to call them waterfalls, but we already went through one where we use a decorative type of a, a basin. We used a Universal Rock uh, pond. We also used a liner, and now we have the patio.